covering Wisconsin weather for 20 years. Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. If September ended today, it would be the warmest on record, and there is no end in sight to the above normal high temperatures. Here's a look at the next seven days. Tomorrow, upper 70s. We'll see mid 70s on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and then 70s. And yes, some 80s will come back as we start thinking about wrapping up the month of September and heading into October. Right now, we are looking at temperatures that are mainly in the lower to mid 70s west of the Fox Valley. From the Fox Valley east, we've had a lake breeze move through, and the temperature has dropped off just a bit. In fact, it's dropped all the way back down to 56 right along the shoreline in Kiwani. 69 degrees in Green Bay with abundant sunshine. You can see what's behind that lake breeze, a southeast wind at around 10 to 20 miles per hour. In Appleton, we have blue skies and comfortable temperatures, mainly in the upper 60s to lower 70s. NBC 26 Precision Radar shows basically nothing going on across northeast Wisconsin, and that's the case really for the central part of the country. It is very quiet. We've got high pressure controlling our weather right now, but off to the north and west, we've got a cold front, and that cold front is going to drop into Wisconsin by tomorrow afternoon and evening, and as it does so, it's going to interact with some moisture moving north from the Gulf of Mexico, and that means we're going to see more in the way of clouds and maybe an isolated shower or sprinkle. High temperatures today running above normal just about everywhere. That really is the big story here across the central part of the country. Mid 70s across northeast Wisconsin, upper 70s and lower 80s just off to our west. And that warmer weather will move in for tomorrow. Most of us will see high temperatures in the upper 70s near Lake Michigan with a southwest wind. It'll be a little bit warmer than what we saw today. Precision cast shows clear skies tonight. Lots of sunshine tomorrow morning. Here comes that cold front. You can see the clouds increasing as we move into the afternoon and early evening. And once again, there will be a chance for an isolated shower or a sprinkle. Not a big deal. Now, tomorrow is the last day of summer in the northern hemisphere. Yes. Fall officially arrives on Wednesday, but summer-like weather is going to hold on. Much above normal high temperatures are in the forecast for the next two weeks at least. So your forecast for tonight calls for clear skies, lower 50s. Tomorrow, lots of sunshine early on. Then the clouds will kind of build in during the afternoon. We'll have a slight chance for a shower or a sprinkle, especially north and west of the Fox Valley. Look for highs, mainly in the upper 70s. Maybe a sprinkle early Wednesday, then sun and clouds by the afternoon, mid-70s. Clouds and sunshine on Thursday, turning mostly sunny on Friday. We'll see highs in the mid-70s. And then even warmer weather pushes in for the final weekend of September. Upper 70s, right around 80 on Monday before Monday Night Football. Some spots could get up into the 80s and then upper 70s to lower 80s as we wrap up September and head into October. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 78. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to Riverview Gardens. And we did that today. I forecast 74 and the actual high was 75, which means the streak continues, Stacy. Here's a look at the last 26 forecasts as far as a three degree guarantee is concerned. And you can see I've now hit 25 in a row. Hopefully we can get that ugly red X <laughs> off the graphic by tomorrow. We are so close. It's We've been watching it move yes, here over the have. last few weeks, and now it's finally at its final spot, hopefully. We're going to wave <laughs> goodbye to it yes. tomorrow. All right, thanks, Cameron. It's an important week focusing on school safety.